Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John. I'm here in Sippin' Den. If you're new here, I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol and have a famous Sunday morning coffee review as well. I have the most extensive playlist on YouTube. And if you check it out, you see how I have everything broken down so nice. And we'll be friends for life. I don't have to ask for anything else. You'll sub, you'll be here, you'll be happy, I'll be happy, everything will work out. Today, beer. Now, it's a little late because I got some beers for Christmas and then I went away on vacation and now I'm coming back and I'm going to review them a little late for Christmas, but hey, uh, what did I get? Spotzel, I think that's how you say it, Spotzel Brewery in Shiner, Texas. Yeah, Shiner Holiday Cheer. Brewed with peaches and pecans. Yeah, we'll get it. Green and red, kind of a Christmassy theme here, right? Holiday theme. Tis the season. Spread the cheer. There's some uh, holly leaves on it. Picture of a peach and pecan right here. Right? See? Peach, peach and pecan. You got your. Uh, holly leaves. Otherwise, I don't know what's so seasonal about peaches and pecans as far as uh, Christmas goes. But tis the season. Uh, but every year they put one out, so they're kind of known for this, uh, for Shiner putting them out. And they make some good stuff. Um, I don't need to read all this. We're going to get into it and see what the scoop is, and we'll make our own decisions on this, okay? Ooh. Oh, right. oh, it's a strong smell of peaches. Right. And I believe, let's see if this goes in here. Yeah, all right, all right. All right. Before I get in, you see the color. The color is dark amber with an off white head. And it looks good. It looks like a commercial right there. I believe that this beer has caramel color added. I'm almost positive. Yeah, well, now I am positive because it says right here caramel color. So the color is meaningless. It looks nice, but it means nothing. It's fake. You can get that color using different kind of malts, uh, but that's expensive. They cheated, in a way. I mean, it's, it's a common thing. Anyway, I want you to know the color is useless. Um, and this does say, uh, brewed with peaches and pecans. Okay, and other uh, natural flavors. Anyway, let's get into it. I smelled the peach right away. I had to cheat and smell it. That's a nice smell of peach. I love peaches. Uh, and these peaches and pecans come from Texas, where this is, where Shiner is Shiner, Texas. Never been there. That peach is overwhelming every time. I don't smell pecans. I don't smell anything but peach. And it's a pleasant smell of peach. It's like a basket of fresh peaches. The peaches happens to be one of my favorite fruits. Let's get into this. Oh, while I'm acclimating myself, try not to judge anything on the first sip. Uh, here it is, 5.4% alcohol by volume. Right. Peach, I mean, right now. You can almost say it's got a little bitterness. Comes from the hops. Right? It's it's light bitterness. It's it's mainly the sweet peach taste that I smelled. Overwhelming. Um, overwhelming on the smell. The taste that's there. It's the most dominant thing. It's not overwhelming. Uh, I'm gonna equate that bitterness to pecans. It's not. It's probably the um, you know the, the hops they're using. But pecans can have a little bitterness uh, to them. It's 
tell you, with that sweet peach up front and that bitterness on the back, I like it because you have to have that bitterness to counteract the sweetness, in my opinion. It makes a nice balance there. Right? Nice sweet coming over the tongue, that peach, and then that, that, that hoppy finish. Using the best of my imagination, I'm not getting pecans. I tried to say that the bitterness on the end was the pecan. It could be. It would be like that. It's, I'm sure it's the hops and not the pecan. Um, maybe it's part of the pecan. I don't know. But I'm not getting that nutty pecan taste. Um, you know, different temperatures might bring out different flavors. Some of you might be getting it. And I'm sure it's contributing to the overall flavor of the beer. Because it's like 90% peach, but there's there's underwhelming. You know, this is bread. Uh, bread. <laughs> made. Made, because bread, I'm thinking. Bread, because it has wheat in it. Um, I thought I read that somewhere. Hmm. Pretty sure it has wheat in it. Not, uh, maybe it's a, anyway, I'm not going to kill you. It's a, um, Dunkelweizen is the, uh, type of beer they're going after here. Uh, Shiner Tide, we hope, uh, peaches, roasted pecans, multi-flavor of this dark wheat flavored ale. All right, isn't it? Malt barley and wheat. All right. Well, let's see if we can get the barley and the wheat. Yeah, the, the malt barley is the other flavor. Uh, so it's not just peaches. There's the barley. There's the hops. As far as wheat, wheat is almost a neutral grain, really. If you think of rye and corn, the strong taste of rye bread and then cornbread. And wheat bread's kind of a neutral thing. It's, I don't think it imparts a lot of flavor in, in whiskey or in, or in anything else. Anyway, um, I look forward to their beers every year. And I... I didn't get one. I didn't do a lot of Christmas. Uh, I have an extensive playlist for, of Christmas beverages, but this year I didn't do a lot of them. And um, um, then I got this for Christmas, and I was like, oh, "Cool," because it just it's gonna solve my problem. Add it right to my playlist, right? My playlist is gonna grow that much, that much more. Um, I got another one too. I got two Christmas beers this year. For Christmas, I did a couple, and then so I'm gonna do another one uh, tomorrow, and then I'll be putting that boom boom a little late, but not too late in any way. We'll be there also for next year. It's always fun to, to look at that Christmas list uh, every year. Anyway, from the still brew reviewed everybody, I'm glad you're here. Remember, in a world of compromise, some men don't see all next.